and welcome back. In the last video you saw me closing out the left and right fuel tanks using Pro Seal to close in the baffles and trying to ensure that everything is leak tight. Now I'm starting to do the pressure tests. Uh, this is the right tank that I'm working on and kind of going through the process of doing the pressure test with the soap and bubble, uh, I'm sorry, soap and water uh, method looking for any bubbles that would form. Fortunately in this one there wasn't a whole lot of issues that I found. Uh, there was I believe two rivets that had a very small pinhole leak and I'll talk about that in the second half of this video. And then also uh, around some of the fittings I had to uh, figure out how to how to seal those back up and I'll talk to that a little bit more. And then also below the uh, Ford attach bracket there on the bottom side front corner it developed a leak around the the glob of pro seal that i put there so i gotta close that up so all in all not terrible and like i said here in just a minute i'm gonna kind of speak to uh in real time uh the things that i found on this tank once i get this completed then i'll be able to work on the other tank on the on the left tank and get it completed and we'll be good to go all right so as you can see Starting the pressure test on, this is the right fuel tank. Got the balloon set up with the zip tie holding it to the strainer. And then got the assembly for the tubing to pressurize. Um, as you can see, there's some bubbling right at the connection. And if you get rid of the bubbles, it's actually coming out from the Pro Seal side of this. So I've got to apply some more Pro Seal there. And then also on the square plug there, it's developing bubbles right on the on the side there so i gotta apply some more sealant to the threads there and, and get that taken care of the strainer which i just installed is uh, holding pretty well uh, no indications of of any leaks there so just the two there the other location is you know i'll see if i can get it onto the camera here so i've marked it with a sharpie but you can see the bubbles formed around this rivet here i've got to get that figure out how to get that fixed and then there's one more rivet uh, I've marked it here uh, it was bubbling the same way as the last one so I've got to figure out how I'm gonna fix these two rivets now that everything's all closed up um, this side over here on the bottom side of the fuel tank there was no uh, no indications of leaks on any of those rivets those are all good The fuel cap is uh, good. There was no leaks there, and there were no leaks anywhere on the end here. So just a couple locations. I'm going to see what I can do to fix these two rivets specifically. Um, the ends here, the connections, I'm just going to apply more sealant around those and uh, should close that up just fine. So other than that, just got to figure out how to seal those rivets up now that the tank's closed up. We'll see how it goes and I'll let you know what I find out. All right, so those two rivets, I was able to fix those using some Loctite thread sealer. Um, basically took a um, vacuum cleaner to a connection, a fuel connection to draw a slight vacuum in the tank and then applied a couple drops of the Loctite thread sealant around those two rivets and it worked like a charm. So that's done. Now I'm working on the uh, left tank. And as you can see right there, I have a huge problem around the drain flange. Um, apparently didn't use enough Pro Seal when I installed that. And so that was essentially the only issue that I found. And uh, I'll talk to it here in just a second. All right, so the only location that had any issues was right here. Obviously, that's a pretty significant issue. So I'm going to have to figure out how to address that. Apparently, didn't put enough Pro Seal. Apparently, didn't put enough Pro Seal just around the plate here. Um, I thought I had, but um, I either missed that step or just clearly didn't put enough. As you can see, lots of bubbles indicating pretty much a uniform leak all the way around. So. 
I would guess that I must have forgot to put Pro Seal on the underside of the plate portion here um, as it's leaking all around that, that connection point there. Um, being that it's closed up, there's no way to get to the back side of these rivets. I'm going to have to get a hold of Vans and see what they recommend. Uh, possibly just drill these out and use the same uh, solid type uh, blind rivets that I use here, possibly, or uh, just put a bead of Pro Seal all the way around the perimeter. Um, I'm not really sure, so we'll get together with Vans and see what they say. I mean, as you can see, the balloon ha it was out to about here. Um, so it's just leaking completely around that fitting. Uh, but everything else is actually pretty good. This is the location that the right tank was leaking from, as well as down below here. Um, none of those locations are leaking. Everything, all the corners around here are all uh, good to go. None of the rivets are showing any signs of foaming. So. Uh, those all indicate that they're all sealed up pretty well. Um, at the far end, um, right about, sorry, I'm trying to use my finger, right about there, where the fuel ta uh, cap is, that's got a slight leak, but that's an easy adjustment by adjusting the fuel cap itself um, and how, um, how tight that fuel cap is. So we'll make that adjustment. But everything else is uh, not too terrible. Like I said, just got to get... Uh, get a hold of Vans and see what they recommend to fix the the drain plate. Uh, but other than that, left tank, once I get that done, we'll do the test again and, and watch the balloon and make sure that it holds fairly well over 24 hours. And if it does, this one's good to go. And then we'll just have to fix the right tank. So 